Hi guys, so welcome back to our part 2 of GMD setup guide which is um, using the 2.4.0 and the PWA. Before we, we just discuss this uh, great material archetype, um, the standard one, we've created our first application. But into this part, we're using about the great material PWA archetype, which stands for the PW, uh, PWA stands for progressive web applications. And this um, <clears throat> includes uh, the same version as it is. It was so we have the 2.9.0 for GWT, jQuery 3.5.1 and also the GMD to 2.4.0 okay and the progressive web application uh, supports offline support using service workers uh, the push notifications installable web application uh, when you use mobile so uh, it acts as native one for example not native but um, uh, you can install it directly from uh, from the browser and then uh, created an icon to your mobile phones so yeah so lots of uh, cool features in the PWA that's why we've created this uh, new archetype okay so um, next the, the the thing that you need to do is just to copy this you can skip as I said on the previous video you can skip all of those four steps so and go directly to step five and then open up your command prompt uh, navigate to your uh, directory that you want to install this project Okay, so the, the only difference is we're just using with material PW archetype right here. Okay, so before it was different, and then let's hit enter. Same same thing goes. So okay, so let's just generate same thing as before, and artifact ID uh, my first PWA app. Okay. Same name. My first PWA app. Yes. Okay. And then MVN clean install. Oh, maybe I can just show you how to uh, do it on the uh, how you call this IntelliJ. Okay. So we're importing the project, but it was not installed. So you can do it through terminal, but uh, you can make use of this side navigation. Uh, the Maven part we have life cycle. You have you you may have to hit twice here. You can just click clean and then install. Yep. So that's how the IntelliJ works. You can also make use of the terminal and create also your run configuration. But I prefer this if you have lots of projects to to do. Right. So this is the, the IntelliJ one. Okay, same thing. Uh, as you remember the previous video, we have this test running, compiling on the command prompt, but into this uh, it was internally on the uh, IntelliJ. In Eclipse, I am, I'm not sure if they do, they do have like this. Uh, we can do it through terminal. So I think they have both have a terminal. Okay. And let's check the run. Okay, so it was successful. So what you need to do next? Uh, add a run configuration. So uh, th this is different now because we're, we're using the service worker. So we need to make sure you we need to add a server uh, instance uh, uh, different from client. So what we can just do is to add a Tomcat server, a local one. So make sure you have installed also the Tomcat into your uh, respective uh, IDEs. So right here, um, let's add the deployment uh, artifact, the wire exploded, and let's just remove this application context, right? And um, I'll, I'll discuss you uh, if you need to have this application context just to connect to the service worker. So, okay, so you have that. Uh, let's just call it server and let's apply next thing is we need to uh, add an instance for the client so on the client we need the first module and here you need to define these parameters no server uh, war and also the location I'll just I'll just make it location for now but uh, the location should be right here uh, my first web app copy the uh, absolute path and then re replace it okay so that's it so click apply and I hope this should work okay and um, let's run the server I'm 
cross fingers this should work let's see the build process okay so maybe I can just discuss you what's happening here so right here uh, the only difference is we we have generated the service worker file the JS okay so we are uh, defining the cache name and all the predefined um, the, the one that's being cached I mean the resources we have the fonts the JS files and also the images and we have here the install event uh, the activate event so th these are predefined so it's just to support the offline support and um, you can do the patterns uh, they call it service worker uh, the uh, service worker patterns so you can search that into the Google and then uh, figure out which pattern is the best for your application and also we have the manifest which contains uh, which this one uh, uses for the installable support I'll show you uh, how it does and then also we here we have three icons uh, four icons I think yeah and also the starting URL yeah so this is the context that we're, we're referring before um, on the deployment yeah so it, it in in order for us to find which part of the page we want to be installable okay and by default it should be display screen and yep so I think that's it and then what's next um, on the SRC main Java client application and we have the app service worker right here so this um, points out the service worker JS that we're referring into okay and then we, we just uh, uh, telling that this app service worker will be using that JS and then we have also a uh, method I mean uh, we can listen into uh, if the services worker is installed activating and activated and we can also toast for now uh, if we have uh, what it is if the network comes back if it is online and also offline okay so th there are lots of um, uh, useful methods that we can um, we can make use of uh, using the service worker okay okay so let's see the the usages of that app service worker so right here this is the the one we've um, generated from the archetype so if the PW is supported then we need to get the instance and then uh, we need to set this uh, service worker to the uh, PWA manager and also the theme color the theme color was the browser's bar color and also we have also the web manifests so we're referring to the manifest file that will be um, loading into and then also uh, at the first glance we need to uh, what is request a permission for the notification if it is supported and yeah so I think that's it that's the way that um, uh, we initialize the PWA manager okay so you have here the uh, first appli uh, PWA application and then right here you can see that there's a plus button so you can install this application to the desktop to support a desktop PWA you click install and then you can see here that it's a desktop application <laughs> uh, it's a web desktop PWA they call it desktop PWA and then um, you can also add this uh, into your yeah you see that icon you can add this into your uh, desktop I uh, desktop and also on the desktop as a desktop icons and also taskbar uh, you, you can do that and same thing so it supports PWA you can close this you can open that application directly from the uh, taskbar so um, you can open that up and on the application side we have manifest so you have everything that we needed background color uh, and also this these are the what you this the icons that we've been using and on the code itself so it should be like this so you can change you can change the display to full screen and also the background color team color okay so you can do that um, in the PWR archetype the one that we've created and also not only that um, you can also uh, turn off if it is the mobile I mean the mobile is offline uh, the application is offline and also online so you can detect that and let's test if this works 
okay yeah it's working it's it's working if it's offline okay and make sure uh, you have the what you call this the um, resources to be available uh, on the first load just to make sure we don't have an error uh, occurring so I hope yeah so th that's the uh, what it was the basic information about the PWA so we will be discussing a lot more on the next videos but um, yeah so this is how it looks okay so um, I think next thing is uh, what if we need to define also the client right so the, the one that we're referring into the client and then right here we can just run this client because right now we're just um, using the uh, the server side I mean the the one that's being installed so we need to open up the uh, dev mode so let's oh it's here so dev mode compile right so we have the server um, happening on the background before and then right now we're um, getting the client I mean the dev server to to run this in order for us to support the <clears throat> change uh, capability so let's change um, what do we need to change? Uh, I think on the home button, home view. Ah, uh, no. Uh, let's try this. Let's just change the test. Where's the test? Yeah. It was change. Let's refresh. Boom. There you go. So we have um, the code server, service worker running on the background. And you can do the um, uh, developing, I mean, using the code and you can just change the code and then everything works fine okay here we go um, here we are at the browser stack so if you don't know browser stack uh, they provide um, how you call this the testing uh, live testing automate your test and uh, local testing and um, here right here we have um, the GMD application so running on the emulator uh, I think it was um, uh, Samsung S20 ultra I'm not sure but um yep so right here uh, I'll just show you how the PW works on mobile so add to home screen we have okay so I will add it so adding okay let's add it shortcut added on the home screen okay so let's close everything and let's find that um, okay you can see that there's an icon right there so it indicates that this is a PW application if we open it yeah you see that so this is a full screen application now so this is the edge of using a how you call this a PWA so we have the desktop PWA we have the mobile PWA uh, installable part so this is good so okay so I hope uh, you enjoy this so um, and also thanks for browser stock for supporting JMD community for us to test our um, github i mean the our applications including the demos and also the how you call this the the core projects the plugins okay thank you for the support thanks okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh, this, this tutorial this part two of the setup guide so uh been looking for you to um what you call submit features and um, uh, bug fixes in the future so Thanks and happy coding.